The sidecar cocktail was apparently named after an American army captain based in Paris during the Great War, and he was known to ride around the city in a sidecar. So did he invent the cocktail, or was he simply known to love said cocktail? That we don't know for sure, because like a lot of classic cocktail recipes, history behind its creation is always a little bit blurry or uncertain. But what we know for sure about the sidecar, it is a delicious cocktail, but also it requires a lot of attention to details in order to be perfect. So today I'm going to share with you my favorite way to make the classic sidecar. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So today we're gonna make a classic sidecar with what I believe to be the best ingredients for it and the best ratio to get the perfect balance. When you look throughout the history in cocktail books, sidecar was not always made the same way. But what's for sure, it was always using only three ingredients, cognac, orange liqueur, and lemon juice. But today, in order to achieve the perfect balance, to my opinion, we will up that to four ingredients. I'm gonna tell you what and why a little bit later. But first, let's say something about the sidecar. I believe it is a very interesting case study, because when you think about it, the sidecar is one of the first cocktail to use liquor as a sweetener, and it created a family of cocktails. But not all liquors were created equal, you know? They don't have all the same ABV, they don't have all the same sugar content, so it's really important to understand that when you wanna replicate a cocktail at home or when you wanna create one, of your own. So today guys, it's gonna be very important to stick to the ingredients I'm using if you wanna achieve the same balance. So we will use both cognac and orange liqueur from the house Pierre Ferrand. This is not a sponsored video at all. These are just products that I love. I've been using them for my sidecars forever. And about two years ago, Sephra and I went and visited the distillery in cognac and we learned to love them even more. They are super welcoming, they have beautiful product, the place is amazing, they have rum and gin on top of the cognac. So if you guys are in the region, we, both Sephra and I, highly recommend to go and try to visit them. But that being said, now I think it's time to go into the cocktail. So we will start with one ounce and a half of cognac Pierre Ferrand. I'm gonna use the 1840 because it's a 1840 style of cognac, which is pre phylloxera so it's really close to the cognac that was used in the time when the sidecar was created. So we're gonna go with 1.5 ounce of it. Another reason why I use this cognac is because it has enough aging to it that it will develop a lot of complexity like vanilla flavors, spices, and ripe fruit flavors. And it will stand out quite nicely in a citrus forward cocktail. If you use a younger cognac, you will mostly get some wood notes from the aging process and it will fall flat in that category of cocktail. Now it's time to add some orange flavors to the cocktail. So we will add dry curacao. This brand is quite dry and strong, so in order to get a perfect amount of orange flavors to the cocktail without being too strong, we will stick to one ounce of it. Now it's time to balance the sugar from the dry curacao, so we will add freshly squeezed lemon juice. I know this may sound a little far-fetched, but for this particular recipe, I like to juice my lemons ahead of time and bottle them up because sometimes I feel that juicing my citrus right into my jigger can add a little bit of bitterness because of the natural oils that are going directly into the juice. When using a fennel and bottling your juice, a lot of these natural oils will be thrown away and it will be a little less bitter. So we will add three quarters of an ounce of bottled freshly squeezed lemon juice. And this is when the fourth ingredient comes into play. 
As I said, all liquors are different and they don't have all the same sugar content. This dry curacao is quite dry and a full ounce will not balance the three quarter ounce of lemon juice. But if we use more than that, we will unbalance the orange flavors, it will take over the cognac and it will be too strong. So we need to add just a little bit of simple syrup to achieve the perfect balance and we will use 5 ml or 1 teaspoon of simple syrup and it will be perfect. And now we can add our ice to our shaker and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. And then fine stir it into your favorite cocktail cup. For the garnish, we're simply gonna express a little bit of orange oil on top of the cocktail. And we're gonna garnish it with it. And this is it guys, this is how I make, to my opinion, the perfect sidecar. Now, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. How can I describe this? Very simple actually, what you see is what you taste. Cognac forward, sweet orange balanced with the acidity of the lemon. It is delicious. Of course, I'm using an amazing cognac, so it makes for an even better cocktail. And like all the classic cocktails, even though we put a lot of thought into today's recipe, it is very easy to make at home. So go ahead, guys, make yourself a delicious sidecar. Leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. That's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again and have a great day. Cheers.